Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a St. Patrick's Day look. If you can't tell, I'm wearing green. Um, so St. Patrick's Day is this Saturday. I think it's the 17th. Yeah, so it's the 17th. So, um, I'm super excited to do this look. I have something in mind. We're going to see how it goes. <laughs> you know. But yeah, so also I'm going to be using, um, okay, so I got this at TJ Maxx for like $23 and I'm pretty sure it's for it's like 40 something so I'm super excited I'm gonna use like this green the greenish highlight I've swatched them like a million times and I've used them like once oh well but yeah so I'm super excited about that but yeah let's just jump straight in to the look I'm going to put some of this powder um, under my eyes so I don't have any fallout. Let's see. It's the Cody Airspun um, Translucent Powder. Um, I'm obsessed with it. So I used it in the video with Caitlin. I used hers and so I was like, I need this. It's from Walmart. It's like $5. It does kind of smell like... Um, like old people if you know what I mean like it smells like how my Nana's house used to smell if that that tells you anything I'm trying to get a lot on here so I can like just because I don't want any fallout at all okay also I use this to set my under eyes and it looks, I feel like it looks so good. Like I used it the other day when I went out to like this trivia thing with my sister and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, basically I'm going to start, oh my God, all my stuff is like falling all over the place. Okay. So I'm going to start with this shade right here in the palette. Pretty sure it's. Oh, I just stuck my finger in one of them. It's called Silk Cream, and I'm just going to put that on a brush like this, like a really fat brush, and I'm going to just put it all over the lid. And the good thing about, like, the translucent powder is, like, if you get it there, you can literally just put more. Like, literally, you can just put more in it, Will. It's like a magic eraser. It's like... I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking that shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's like a brownish... It's like a brownish nude color. And I'm rubbing that. It's called Silk Cream going all over the lid. Just so I have like a base down. And I'm going to do that also on the other eye. And this is just going to be like a fun look that you can do to like, I know people like to do like St. Patrick's Day parties or like festivals. Um, so yeah. I'm going to get a little bit more on this eye so it's like even. Kind of put it really high on that eye. Oops. Next, I'm going to take. Where? I'm losing all my brushes. Oh. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a an angled crease brush that from it's just an equal tools angled crease brush, and I'm going to take the greenish, um, dark green shade Enchanted. And I'm going to mix that with this like tealish shade Jada to try and make it like a little bit lighter. I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm going to, I don't want it to be like too, too much. 
go on the outer crease and outer lid. Ooh, that's dark. And then I'm going to bring it in. Holy poop. That is dark. Once I've pressed it on the outer part of my eye, I'm going to bring it in and just blend it in towards like the inner part of my eye, obviously. But I obviously I want the outer part of my eye to be darker than the rest. And I'm going to dip back into both those colors so I can get like an even shade on my lid. If you can see, like I don't want it up here so I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit. And I'm just going to be blending it all together so there's no harsh lines. And it's like a dark foresty green color and that's what I want. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Okay. Now I'm going to take a clean blending, this clean blending brush from e.l.f. Looks like this. And I'm just going to be going on the edges with, like, with nothing on my brush at first. And then I'm going to go in with the original color we used around the edges. Just wipe that brush off because it got all that green and powder on it. And I'm, again, going in with the original color Silky Cream around the edges. Just soften it up. See, now I feel like this count this side is not as dark as that side. So I'm gonna go back in with the original color enchanted that we used, the greenish, and just blend in. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put some more translucent powder there so we don't get any fallout. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush like this, and I forgot water, so give me Okay, I'm back. My nose is running now. Okay, I'm going to dip into this greenish, um, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm dipping into the other green shade that is more of like a shimmer next to the color Enchanted and it's called Diva and I'm going to just dip into it and spray my brush. So then I'm going to press it um, right like a little bit over to, towards like the outside of my lid but on the inner part if that makes any sense at all. Like I'm pressing it right here. And I'm gonna do go in with that one more time. Cause I want it to be fun and have glitter. So then I'm gonna do the next. I'm gonna do the other the same on the other eye. And the reason why I'm doing this, because it looks like almost the same color if you can't tell, but I'm going to be adding gold glitter so I want it to blend nicely into the green. Okay, next I'm going to be taking, where's my other brush? 
I'm going to be taking a, just another eyeshadow, flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. like this. And I'm going to be taking this um, eye e.l.f. eyeshadow called Golden. And it literally is like so gold. And I'm going to, and it's a loose shadow, which I don't know, I don't know if they sell these anymore. But I know you can get them in like baked, the baked shadows. I'm going to spray my brush. I'm going to press that right next to on the inner part of um, where I put the green glitter. Oh god, holding my eye open like that, my eyes are in water. And then, I want to be a really thick gold. Now I'm going to just start bringing it to more to the outside so it will blend. Because I want it to be like solid, solid. And then I'm going back in with the brush that I used with the green and I'm going to just try to blend those together so there's no harsh line. If you can't tell, right here is where they touch. So then I'm just blending it. And I'm gonna go back in with this one. I need to take the green color one more time. And I'm going to just bring it out. I'm taking this gold color all the way into my inner corner until I put an inner corner highlight there. So then the final look is going to be sort of like this. <laughs> And then I'm going to take the gold color again on the other eye. I'm going to spray my brush. And I'm going to tap it into my inner corner and onto my lid next to the green shimmer. I don't know why, but gold and green. Obviously, I know why green reminds me of um, St. Patrick's Day. But gold, well, first of all, I love doing gold glitter like on my eyes um but it just reminds me of St. Patrick's Day that's why I have the gold this it's like sort of gold um background today and then on the inner part where I don't have any of the green glitter I'm gonna make that look like extra solid so it just looks like gold And then there's nothing left on my brush really, so I'm just going to bring it towards the outer part. My dogs are literally like sleeping so soundly on my bed and on my floor right now. It's not even funny. So then this is going to be like the final part of the outside. I'm going to be adding like an inner corner highlight using, um, okay, where did it go? Okay, I'm going to be just using like this color from the Jaclyn Hill palette called Beam. And I'm just going to take a small Eco Tools brush like this. And I'm going to just dip into it like that and just put it in there and blend it into where the gold is. Because I don't want the inner corner to be like too, too much. So, oh, I love a good inner corner highlight. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like this and brush away the translucent powder. Oh, okay, so I'm going to take the translucent powder one more time and just like that and then brush it away. 
so that it looks like solid. And then I'm going to go in using the Jaclyn Hill palette again with um, this small Eagle Souls brush. I wiped it off and I'm going to be taking like the black shade right here just as like an eyeliner. God, this black shade is like a mess. And I'm just going to be doing it lightly so that it gives some like dimension. And that's like, you can barely tell, but like it makes a difference. I never know how to do like my left because I want to touch my face, but you know, it's just going to happen. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to take this blending brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to go into the color Enchanted. I'm going to just go lightly on my lower waterline. And then I'm going to blend out the top part of my, like my eyelid, to my waterline so that it's all blended together. And I'm going to do that on both eyes. And I'm just doing it lightly on my waterline so it doesn't look too drastic. Um, blending my eyelid down to my waterline so they're blended together. And then I'm going to take the blending brush and just blend it everything up towards the gold. I put a little bit too much gold right there to go. I'm like losing all my brushes, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 and I'm gonna take the color um, Silk Cream one more time and I'm gonna go on the outside all the way around my eye, basically. Especially on the waterline. And I'm just going lightly around it so it's not anything like too crazy. Then I'm going to take the um the flat eyeshadow brush with the gold again and go on my lower waterline. And I'm going to blend it onto where I put the green also. Where did I even put it? Okay, here we go. So we're going to take it, the gold color, spray it, and then go on the lower waterline. Like that. So then it's like basically so your bottom waterline matches like your top of your eye. And I'm going to just add some mascara. I'm going to be using the Dior Show Dior Mascara in the shade Pro Black. Dang it. I'm going to take just this Maybelline Master Contour and use the blush out of it. This is in, I hate this upside down. Yeah, I'm going to take the blush with just like a little angled powder brush take it and I'm gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it up I really want it to look like rosy and then I'm going to take this because I got a little bit much there just next I'm going to be taking the Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm taking the shade Helia, the green shade, on a dampened beauty blender. It looks so dirty, but it's not. I literally just washed it. And I'm going to take that and 
need to take like extra a lot so you can tell that it's green, you know? You really can't. Okay, let me try doing this. I'm gonna spray my bee blender and see if that has any thing. I'm gonna bring it up around my eye. So it's cause it's just supposed to be like fun and I'm gonna blend it up my forehead. So yeah, I did like the green highlight, which I thought would be fun for, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you think of the look. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.